Some of the tools, and again, this could vary depending on who you are. Definitely need a little sawzall, pry bar. Screw guns are good. Okay, hammer, sledgehammer is great. I'm not using it because I know how cheesy these cabinets are. Honestly, I could probably just, if I was younger, I could just run into them or hire one of those NFL guys and just have him come in here with pads and just mow it over. So anyways, I thought I'd just show you some tools. Crescent wrench for your piping, channel locks for the, for the uh, um, disobedient nuts and bolts, screwdriver, okay, chisel, whatnot. I've got my Phillips tip on here, so I don't have a hand Phillips. Anyways, not a big deal. You got the tools, bingo. Okay, all right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully there's no fireworks. What I'll do is take the um, plate. First take the plate off of this because the plate covers up the, the receptacle. Right? Phillips. So just pretty rare. Not sure how that transpired. You could loosen it up as well. A little bit of play receptacle. Now remember, if you do this without shutting off the power, there could be some fireworks. My advice to you is shut off the power. The box is plastic, so if it hits the side, you're not going to get fireworks because the box is not metal. But if you hit it with the tool, bingo. And then what will happen is the breaker. Okay, so now again, if you're into salvaging stuff like me, these are nice knobs. Okay, they're bronze, all right. What they did was they lipstick this kitchen, all right, and they lipsticked it with brown lipstick, the beige lipstick. All right, you can see that. I use my sunglasses a lot, or safety glasses, and they put these, you know, these, these knobs on, so you've got brown lipstick with bronze jewelry, alright, and of course, bronze doesn't match chrome very well, but who's looking? Evidently, the buyer of this place wasn't looking. All right. So, now I haven't shut the water off yet, but remember, shut the water off, fill a bucket up, okay? You don't want to keep your bucket clean, so I'm going to move it out of the way. Okay, hopefully you guys can see all this. So there you go. You've got some jewelry, all right? You can be like... Bill Russell or Magic Johnson or Michael Jordan, okay? Show everybody your rings. All right, enough of that silly talk. Okay, so I'll start with the uppers, like I said, these doors. You know, these doors, I'm gonna take them off. A lot of times I'll rip them off. You can get behind the hinge and rip them off, but because these are all clean and new, this is salvageable, I'm gonna take these off. So, what you want to do whenever you're removing doors, there's four screws in these hinges, okay? The best way to do it is, I'm going to always save the screws, I actually have um, a little bag here so I can use these, put all the screws in, and again, this is if you want to salvage or bring stuff to Habitat for Humanity or whatnot. But four screws or if there's two screws, then you always want to just take the bottom one off first. That way the thing's not slopping down and it's easier to hold the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do here, okay? All right. That's it. Here you go, okay? One down. Bingo. And the hinges too are, are like new. So if somebody needed these kind of hinges, which 
not too many people do anymore. All right, so you can see, take the first two out, one from each side, top and bottom, or one from the top and bottom, not sides. And then take the bottom one out, that's your third screw. And it's pretty easy. Now I'm going to make it look easy. I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, so there's one screw. There's two, see? Which allows you to just make that different right there. If I talk too fast, come back to me in the comments. Please subscribe so I can make more of these videos for you. Uh, because my joy is to teach people who don't know how to do things to do it themselves so they can save money and become more self-sovereign. Okay, so that's a third screw. Right there, see? See, and it's not gonna just fall all over or fall over. All right. These doors, a lot of these contemporary artists like to paint these doors, the inset, and then they already have a framed painting. So, see that? Let's give you an example. So that's what goes on like that. It's not a bad deal. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, now if you demo the bottom, then the top is easy. Well, I'm using the bottom for leverage. As, as a step, as a counter, so it works out good for me on a kitchen like this, a little dollhouse, yeah. Plus I can have all my tools here, which are gonna have to get moved out of the way here soon. But it was good to show you the layout. So, you see here, it's all just press board. It's all hilarious, quite frankly. All right, so I can get in here. Now they staple the heck out of this stuff. I mean, it's nuts how much they staple. So. I've demoed multiple homes before. And I'll tell you what, they're a lot stronger than you think. They nail the heck out of everything. Let's see what we're up against here. All right. I'm going to come up top. Usually up here in this concealed place is where you're going to see some fastening. And they actually used, they used a square head. Okay, let's see. See? Wherever the modern day football players are, you can see if they had pads on, they could bulldoze this down in a second. They use a number two square, I believe, folks. Okay. And this would be a number two square. Number two. Got all this water here. Let's see, this could be it. Let me see here. You guys probably know what it is. All you geniuses. So it's an S2. See if you can see that. See, it's an S2. Oops. There you go. And it's a square. It'll say S2 on it. 
and more of the European or Canadians, they like this fastening system. I like it. Get a way better bite on something than you do um, with Phillips. Of course, Phillips was better than slotted. All right. So this is where you can use help or have something to cast the cabinet. I don't really care because um, not a whole lot going on here as far as how heavy this cabinet is. When I, I I'll always recycle when I can. Um, so let's see here. Now see, part of what's holding it is the wires. Okay. All right. And then of course, for sure, there's going to be some nails behind the trim. You can see what you can do is take this mold molding off just to show you what you're up against. There's going to be wires coming through here. They shouldn't be on the edge though. Okay. Molding. Probably good to wear a mask too. I'm not a mask guy. I should be, but I know there's not a lot of dust on this, which is why. Definitely the eyes. holding this up are the fasteners down there that are concealed to this plywood okay so um, I was trying to save this cabinet for somebody I don't know. can see the wiring see the wiring right like I'm gonna try to do this for you folks Right here. 
right there. See it? Get it over here for you. See that tube, that metal tube? It's rigid, which is good. They ran that in there to get to your receptacle. Okay, all right, good. So I wanted to show you this. And what I'll have to do is shut this power off. I'll shut it off and stay with me. All right, shut the power off. How do you know I've got a tester on there? Now, instead of using a tester, you can use anything, an alarm, a radio, a lamp. Okay, anything to just check. See if your power's off. It looks scary, right? Well, it's really not. So, it's time for me to start kicking some of these tools momentarily move them over. Maybe I'll put them over there on that little base filler. It's not really a cabinet. Okay, these are good screws, by the way. You know, all this stuff comes in handy, but no sense in throwing it away unless you want to act cool and foolish. So this is going to come down. There are screws in there, but trust me, this thing's coming down in no time. And what I'll do is I'll probably just let it come down, all right? Maybe off that way. All right, you see, you see that? And I'm just kind of doing this because I was hoping to salvage the uh, upper cabinet. This is interesting that that's coming up high, but the wiring is low. So, I don't know how this is fastened. So, let me, this is where you want your saws off. Cut it out a little bit here. so much stuff and I think it's kind of unfair to the viewer it's a long video okay I get it but you could always fast forward okay see how they ran the wire they ran it up and over and down and looped it probably because this box was kind of tight so it was easier to come up and down they could have went up inside here of course They've got some tubing there that probably should have had some sort of a, a rubber type grommet on there because of rubbing. But this was 87, so they didn't call out for that on code. Okay? All right. Good. So what I can do since the power's off is pull this out. This whole return comes down. Okay? This little kind of faux wall or panel. Okay. Pillar. All right, stay with me. Okay, please subscribe if you can. All right, if you so desire. All right. So just, you know, I'm unfastening this thing. Nothing special, okay? Never know. See how I pulled back on that puppy? But that's why you use a tester, okay? So you got your ground. You got your hot, you got your neutral, three wires. Now, I've got other videos for electric that will be coming out. Electrical work, all right? And you know, every video has its opposers. I'm sure people will oppose this. All right. So, let me get, let me get, let me get to the gist here. This 
is out. Now, we can talk some business about pulling the wire out. Of course, I can also get the box out. Probably not going to use the box. I don't like plastic boxes. Get a port around. The screws are holding. Get this over here for you guys so you can speed it up. Alrighty. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I can't believe all this stuff we have here. It's pretty bizarre, but let's see what they got, folks. It's all a surprise to me. So like they ran around the block looking for a parking spot to find one up close. That's with electrical. Electrical is always like that. You don't know how they ran the wires. Plumbing is a little bit different. A little bit more structured. Let's see how they ran this. I mean, am I missing something? No. Look. You can see how they ran this. I don't know why they did this. See that? Big loop there. Maybe for future um, for future considerations about adding an outlet or a switch or something. So that's a fastener that we will take out. And pliers should work. If not, screwdriver will definitely work. The pliers are better because you don't pinch the wire. But if you do this right, you won't pinch the wire either. Did I pinch the wire? No, okay? So if you can get, when it's fastened like this, you can try to get behind there like that, okay, and leverage it out. You just gotta be careful not to dig into your fastener, okay? All right. And see all that good okay folks so here you have it you can pull all this out and through what happens is these wires are spun over I'm not gonna grab my needle nose I should but I'm not gonna all right you can cut these if you want, or straighten them out. They're gonna probably break anyways, okay? Probably gonna break anyways, so you see they're hooked. That's causing them to... It's preventing them from pulling out, okay? Let's do this. That's out. And then you can pull the wire through. Okay. Remember, okay. This is all going to come out. There you go. See? Okay. Old guy like me, huh? Okay. Got some help. Yeah, nothing like help. stress here. I don't like that. A little bit of stress. Mess up the camera. All right. Probably look good on video, huh, folks? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, it's a lot of strain on this wire. I don't know why it's having a hard time. Now it's not. Wires are funny, man. When they get bent up, they can really hold you up. Just a wire. I pulled cabinets off the wall. I pulled cabinets off the wall that were held by paint. All right, this is out, folks. Okay? You don't believe me. Here. I'll huff and puff as I am, okay? You see it, right? Okay. If I can do it, you can do it. All right. There it is, folks. This took a little bit longer than I thought. The wire's okay. Okay. You want to put a drop down on the floor too, um, but uh, here you go. All right, wires are all good. Put your box it's clean. Put your receptacle. All right, and huffing and puffing. Okay. Yeah, these mo mobile homes. I'll tell you what. They, they go nuts, man. When they used to fasten stuff, they really were compliant. Overly cautious. So when people put them down, a lot of the things they did, very clever. All right. I'll pause it for a minute. Okay, I'm going to pause.